Okay, I will, Garth. She's the prettier one up here. All right, let's talk about the weather forecast. 30 degrees out there and quite chilly, breezy, cold. It's windy out there this morning, but things are going to warm up just a little bit today. High temperatures only around 39 with plenty of sunshine, but cold temperatures today. Tomorrow starts to warm up just a bit. Your high temperatures of 47, low of 21. Look at the rest of the weekend. We've got some rain moving in on Sunday and carried into Monday with temperatures around 62. All right. We're back. Garth is here. Jennifer is here. We're talking about a home show. This is what? The third or fourth one? Believe it or not, it's actually the 10th year the tenth that the year. Chamber oh, wow. has I've only been now, four years. Now, it's the third or fourth year that we've been at the event center. Okay, that's but why. But we, um, we, we were at the armory before that's that. Right. And so, but yeah, believe it or not, 10th year that we've hosted this event. Fast. I know. I know. So, you know, we've done the chili challenge for about 10 years now. So, um, I guess since the Home and Garden Show is now at the event center, that's a big deal. Yes, it's grown it so is. much. Yeah. Each year, it has really continued to grow in popularity throughout North Alabama. I mean, the focus to start with is to showcase our local businesses here in Athens and Limestone County for all your home and garden needs. And now we have vendors and exhibitors from all over North Surrounding. Alabama that come and participate. So it's a great show. Oh, it it's really turned is. out wonderful. I mean, you can find oh. just anything from things out in the garden to things you need inside your home, even the decor and right. All whether kind of whether you're looking for a need, like you need a new air conditioner, no, just pest all control, want it. <laughs> or a want, like renovating a space, we have a great variety. And another thing that's great about our show is we don't have a lot of the same type exhibitors. We really have a wide variety covering everything. You do and those unique items are so much fun to actually go and see too. Yes. And it's free. Free admission. We we don't charge a thing and we also have um, hands-on demonstrations that, that don't charge anything. Um, That's always fun to right. get the kids involved. Yes, and kids activities. Lowe's will be bringing their kids clinic that they normally do at the store on Saturdays to the yeah. show for the weekend. It's uh, rumor has it it's uh, Mar Monsters University awesome. type craft for the kids, so that'll be really fun. Now it's starting now, Garth. You wanted her to talk most of the <laughs> do most of the talking, so you just join in. <laughs> I've run my <laughs> mouth plenty this morning. <laughs> That's okay. We're used Probably to it when too you're much. here. <laughs> That's all good. But you know, it starts at nine o'clock on Saturday, mm -hmm. and it opens at twelve o'clock on Sunday. So get out there, and and it's free. You don't have to pay for any of this. Lots of great vendors. You know, it has grown so much from you know how many vendors. Where you have this year? We yeah, have over 64 inside. No, we're up to 68 now. Garth We've been adding people last minute. We're up to 68 mm -hmm. inside okay. and um, 10, I believe, outside. So it's that's really what big. What is the most unique items. item that you've seen? I think to me, I mean, that when they had a toilet there one day with that candy it in it. That was their oh, candy was ball different. was the toilet. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. It seed and cleaned yeah. itself and. That's pretty neat. <laughs> That's very shocking, isn't it? That's pretty funny. <laughs> Good we, stuff. Yeah, we, we've got some, um, I don't know, I'm really happy to see everybody that's entered. Uh, one thing that we want to mention is about the, uh, the donations right. that can be made uh, mm -hmm. to hospice. Uh, oh, good. We're not charging admission, but we will be asking that, you know, there will be a place where you can make donations. We've oh, throw selected. Throw a couple bucks in there, please. Yeah, because please. you know, hospice yeah. just recently had their chili challenge, and I understand crowds were a little bit low since a lot of things have been happening here in Limestone County. So that'll be good to throw in a couple bucks each, if you can. Each year we try to feature a different charity since it is an, a no admission event. It, we want it to be a community event, so we try to feature a different nonprofit. Every How long year. have you been in Limestone County? Have you just grown up here? No, I'm not originally from Decatur, but I've been in Limestone County for four years now. I was going to say, Limestone County has just been amazing as far as community support Absolutely. when something's going on or Absolutely. someone has a benefit for someone in need. So it's a lot of fun to have great people around. Everybody comes together to they support. Do. And you've been involved in so many different uh, things as well. Of course, you're in banking now, but uh, what's the biggest surprise? Do you, is there a big surprise for this community for you? Um, well, I, I, I just feel blessed to be in this community, yeah. you know, to have grown up here and everything. And, and, and y'all are right. I mean, this is a, a town that, that pulls together and gets behind people when good things are going on and when times are tough too, you know. To be so small but yet so large, we're really, you guys are doing a great job. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, Come and garden show. Let's wake everybody up here this morning. Get out there Saturday. We will see you there. It opens at 9 o'clock. It goes to 4 p.m. and then Sunday 12 to 4. Anything else you guys want to add? 
well, like you just said in the weather, it's supposed to be great yes. weather this weekend. So yeah, maybe some rain on Sunday, but that's okay. This is indoors, and there's some things outdoors too. But something tells me you'll have some. You know, last time, last year, I do recall there were some garden features inside. So don't yes. let any bad right. weather, any right. rain, deter you because they'll have it set up right. quite nicely. And no the, tell them where the Valley Event Center or the Event Center is. It's on Valley, Prior Street. Um, if you're traveling north on 31, you can make a left on Prior Street. Mm -hmm. And it's a few miles down there over the railroad Close tracks to the, to the right. Museum. Right by the Veterans Museum. All right. Well, Great. Thank you guys for being with thank us. You so Are you much still for taking any us? new vendors in case someone didn't get in? We will scramble and fit you <laughs> in. <laughs> if you would like Come to Come on be and in see us. <laughs> How can, turn you away. How can they reach you? <laughs> um, you can call the chamber at 256 232 2600, and we have a website, www.tourathens.com. All right, remember, it opens at 9 o'clock on Saturday. If you want to get there, get there a little bit early, you can be the first one in and be ahead of all the crowds. All right, That's thank right. you. Gloria. You're welcome. Good to see you both. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break. Stay with us. Roy's coming up next. We'll be right back. All right, good job.